Hey guys, I am in Brisk, New York right now. I am doing the debut show of Greg Gutfeld's new show, Gutfeld, with an exclamation point, tonight on Fox News. That's right, he's going to five days a week to compete with Colbert and the other guy and the one in blackface and that other guy and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick video for you because there was an extraordinary hit piece on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis last night on 60 Minutes. And what we're gonna show you here is video from the Daily Caller. They're gonna start with what 60 Minutes showed of Ron DeSantis, implying that he was doing some sort of pay for play scheme related to giving out COVID vaccinations. And then Daily Caller actually does the work and they show you the full answer. And you'll see that he did no such thing. And even Publix, which is what this whole thing is about, Publix, the drugstore, the chain, they've even come out with a statement saying that DeSantis did nothing wrong. But you know, I always talk about the war on reality here. And it's like, if you only watch 60 Minutes and you only watch mainstream, media, then you're stuck thinking something that is completely untrue is actually true. So I wanted to do this video so that maybe you guys could share it and we can keep waking up some people. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. And remember, Gutfeld with an exclamation point tonight on Fox News. We wanted to ask Governor DeSantis about the deal, but he declined our request for an interview. We caught up with him south of Orlando. Publix, as you know, donated $100,000 to your campaign, and then you rewarded them with the exclusive rights to distribute the vaccination in So Palm first Beach. of all, that, what you're saying is wrong. How, how is that not pay to that, play? That's a fake narrative. I met with the county mayor, I met with the administrator, I met with all the folks at Palm Beach County, and I said, here's some of the options. We can do more drive-through sites, we can give more to hospitals, we can do the Publix. And they said, we think that would be the easiest thing for our residents. But Melissa McKinley, the county commissioner in the Glades, told us the governor never met with her about the public's deal. The criticism is that it's pay to play, and It's governor. wrong, it's wrong, it's a fake narrative. I just disabused you of the narrative and you don't care about the facts because obviously I laid it out for you in a way that is irrefutable. Well, I, I and so it's clearly not. Isn't there the nearest no, public? No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, away. you're wrong. Yes, That's sir. That's actually a fact. So first of all, that, what you're saying is wrong. That's, that, that's a fake narrative. So first of all, when we did the, the first pharmacies that had it were CVS and Walgreens, and they had a long-term care mission. So they were going to the long-term care facilities. They got vaccine in the middle of December. They started going to the long-term care facilities the third week of December to do LTCs. So that was their mission. That was very important, and we trusted them to do that. As we got into January, we wanted to expand the distribution points. So yes, you had the counties, you had some drive through sites, you had hospitals that were doing a lot, but we wanted to get it into communities more. So we reached out to other retail pharmacies, Publix, Walmart. Obviously, CVS and Walgreens had to finish that mission. And we said, we're gonna, we're gonna use you as soon as you're done with that. For the Publix, they were the first one to raise their hand, say they were ready to go. And you know what? We did it on a trial basis. I had three counties. I actually showed up that weekend and talked to seniors across four different publics. How was the experience? Is this good? Should you think this is a way to go? And it was 100% positive, so we expanded it, and then folks liked it. And I can tell you, if you look at a place like Palm Beach County, they were kind of struggling at first in terms of the senior numbers. I went, I met with the county mayor, I met with the administrator, I met with all the folks at Palm Beach County, and I said, Here's some of the options. We can do more drive through sites. We can give more to hospitals. We can do the Publix. We can do this. They calculated that 90% of their seniors live within a mile and a half of a Publix. And they said, we think that would be the easiest thing for our residents. So we did that. And what ended up happening was you had 65 Publix in Palm Beach. Palm Beach is one of the biggest counties, one of the most elderly counties. We've done almost 75% of the seniors in Palm Beach. And the reason is because you had the strong retail footprint. So our uh, way has been multifaceted. It has worked. And we're also now very much expanding CVS and Walgreens now that they've completed the long-term care mission. Yes. And it's wrong. It's wrong. It's a fake narrative. I just disabused you of the narrative. And you don't care about the facts because obviously I laid it out for you in a way that is irrefutable. And so it's clearly not. No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you wanna watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.